My repeat dream, I realized in a certain room how to get out and save everyone from killers. Okay, wow. Oh, let me see this again. My repeat dream, I realized in a certain room how to get out and save everyone from the killers. Oh, okay, so this is kind of the same thing. You're running from something, right? So death in a dream represents transformation. But if you're not the one doing the killing in the dream, then you're not the one causing the ways you are changing and transforming. So if there's killers in the dream, then it, it feels like it, it means that you feel like something outside of yourself is the one causing the change within you. Like, for example, I say it all the time. Uh, you know what? Let me come up with a different example. So let's say, um, let's say who, who all here, who all here has been cheated on? Who all here has been cheated on? before i mean actually you don't got to answer that you know what i mean because some people might not want to answer just put it, me <laughs> okay so do you remember the first time or or hopefully hopefully it was only once <laughs> but when you were very first cheated on you changed right you changed that betrayal changed you right you were different after that you were transformed after that your heart got a little colder after that. I mean, you weren't so quick to connect with folk after that, right? So you changed. So it's very easy in a situation like that to be able to point the finger to someone outside of myself and say, you changed me. You made me different. I was a very trusting individual until you created that experience and made me change, Right? But we all create our own reality. You changed. You caused yourself to change. But you allowed the circumstances in your environment and the people and things within your environment to influence how you chose to change and evolve. And it was probably unconscious. You know what I mean? So whenever, whenever we feel that something outside of ourselves is causing the change... That's going to show up in the dream as something outside of ourselves, another person having a gun or trying to kill us. You know what I mean? Michelle Correa share the live. They get a follow. So when you, when you have a dream, what I would suggest with a dream like that is identify. Actually, let's go back to it so I can tag it so everybody knows what dream I'm talking about. You are running from the killers. And it's a repeat dream. My repeat dream, I realized I was in a certain room, how to get out and save everyone from the killers. So a room, a room has walls, right? That's what makes a room. Walls will represent personal limitations. You know what I mean? Walls that you've built up within your own mind that are true for you, but not true for everyone. It's not universally true. It's true for just you. So it's a personal limitation. But you found a way to escape from that limitation and move beyond that because Things outside of yourself were trying to kill you. you know what I mean, You're trying to change who you are. So when you have a dream that something outside of yourself either has the power to kill or is trying to kill you, then what I would suggest is wake up and take inventory, do an I am exercise where you write down the words I am, right? So everybody get a, I'll, I'll give a second for everybody to get a piece of paper to write this exercise down. Because you'll probably definitely want to do this exercise whether you've had this dream or not. <laughs> the I am, and this is probably why I didn't leave when I said I was going to leave because of this. And this is going to be powerful for people. So the I am exercise, what you're going to do is write down I am dot 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 at the top of a piece of paper. I am dot 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 at the top of a piece of paper. And then you're going to write number, number 1 through 100. Right? Number 1 through 100. And then you're going to finish that I am sentence after after that a hundred times. I am this. I am that. I am whatever. I am selfish. I am happy. I am lonely. I am not understanding if I'm doing this exercise correctly. I, <laughs> I am confused. You know, I am thriving. I am desiring a different life. I am strong. I am persevering you know we'll just finish out the sense whatever comes to mind just write and if you don't make it to 100 that's fine but try your hardest to get to 100 and wherever you exhaust out that's fine if you only get 60 that's fine if you only get 30 that's fine but at least try to get 25 at the least 
but strive for a hundred, right? Can you make a video? I watch and do this exercise. Uh, I mean, I will. I don't know. I, I've I've recorded all of my lives and saved them, and I'm gonna make little snippets out of them. But I just haven't had the time to do any of that yet. <laughs> but I'm planning on it. But anyways, um, when you do that, then get another sheet of paper, right? Well, actually, first look at look over that list and. Put a star, well, circle all of the things that you want to keep, that you like about yourself and that you want to remain. Circle all of those. And then, and then put stars on the left and right of the ones that you want to change and eliminate and remove. Or cross them out. You know what I mean? I, I usually say cross them out, but I was realizing, well... Some people, if they cross them out, what if they can't read it again? But yeah, cross them out. And then and then make a new review that list and look at the parts the parts of yourself that you're wanting to cross out are the things that you need to actively change yourself. Right? That's the things you're wanting to change. So you need to decide to change. So figure out action to take to change it. And then write a new I am list. And this time you don't need to write a uh, hundred or anything. Who cares how many you write down? Write a new I am list, okay? And with that new list, what you're going to do is look at the individual who has, like, like the you who has already changed and removed all of those things that you crossed out, you've already removed that. So I am afraid. You know what I mean? You've already become a person. Like, imagine, use your imagination. Imagine you've already become the person that's no longer afraid. I am poor. Imagine you are no longer a person who is poor. I am depressed. Imagine you are no longer the person who is depressed. All of those things that you crossed out, imagine that you have already become the person that is no longer like that and has already changed and transformed it. And then look at that person because that's who you want to become, right? That's who you want to become. Then write the new I am list as that person. I am brave. I am courageous. I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am happy. I am full of joy. I am radiant. You know I me mean? write down all of these things of what the person who is that, and then that's your new I am list. And read that list every single day, three times a day, every morning and every night. I am this. You're not visualizing something of what you want to be. I am. I am. I am, I mean, the word, man, hey, let's go, let's go, but do that, do that, I am, exactly, I am, I am, therefore I am, I am that 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 I am, okay, so good, I hope that helps, you're welcome, you're very welcome, beautiful, okay, What about me in the passenger side of a car that won't stop and I can't control it? What would that? Oh, okay, Arturo. Who else has had a dream like this? Put a C in the chat for car. If you've had a dream where you're not in the driver's seat, you're in the passenger seat or the back seat even, and the car is out of control. I am alive, yes. I'll be trying this out. I'm sure it'll help. Good, good. I'm excited for you to come back and, and tell us how it goes. Do the, read that list for 90 days, for the next 90 days. Read that list at least three times a day. As soon as you wake up, before you go to bed, and sometime in the middle of the day. Okay, so who in here knows, do any of the mentees in here remember, what does a car represent in a dream? What does a car represent in a dream? vehicle is your life that is very that is very that is really good yes your physical body your physical life yes your life michelle correa that is really good so your body this vehicle will represent the, the body life exactly hey capri got it uh the way you're maneuvering through life exactly exactly y'all got it y'all got it so if you're having a dream that you're it's out of control, 
then you're you're not in, you're not controlling your life. You're not taking the wheel. You're not taking command. You're not putting yourself in the driver's seat. And you know what? I'm going to consciously choose where I go in life. When I turn left, when I turn right, when I stop and take myself and give myself a rest, when I accelerate and punch the pedal to the metal, I'm going to consciously choose and determine what I where I go in life and what I do in life. You know what I mean? So where was we? Arturo. Arturo, you need to consciously take a whole control of what you are doing in life. Word, I'm back in here. Welcome back, Matt. Welcome back, Matt Black. <laughs> what does it mean when I see my ex, we are unable to speak to each other? Okay. Uh, so your ex, it will represent a way in which, um, you know, because people are aspects of your own consciousness. So characteristics of your own personality. So what, um, what's the main quality that you see in your ex? I mean, whatever the main quality is you see in your ex, you need to communicate more about that quality within yourself. You need to understand that you're still trying to build that quality within yourself and communicate to yourself how you will do that, where you are at in that. So, for example, maybe you see your ex as generous. I mean, or maybe you see your ex as, as you know, um, selfish. You know, then it will represent how you are needing to communicate how you are not wanting to be that way anymore. You may, maybe need to identify and communicate that that is present within you. You know, it's for, it's for you to identify, but that's what that will represent. Me and my brother had the same dream the same morning about the same person who passed away. Yeah, that was probably a visitation dream, buddy. <laughs> that was probably a visitation dream for sure. Thank you. You're very welcome. That was probably a visitation dream for sure. I had a lucid dream and asked my guys to please show themselves and I don't get a response. Okay, so uh, Yovana. You can only do things in a lucid dream to the extent that you can do within your mind, right? So for one, for one, you can't command your guides to do anything. Just like you can't command, uh, like you you can, you can call, you can send me a text on the phone and say, I want you to come here right now. That don't mean I got to come. I mean, so that's one. Two, uh, you can only do things to the extent that you can do them to your mind. So summoning uh, an apparition or summoning any type of entity or spirit, unless you can do that with your mind, you aren't going to be able to just command them to come uh, in your dream, whether they're your guides or not. And then three, one of the reasons why they probably didn't show up is because by not showing up, that is going to stimulate you to you know, create the experiences that you need for the life lessons that you need to learn. So our guides, what are our guides? You know, our spirit guides are, they aren't any, they aren't like far more intelligent than you. you know I mean, they're, they're usually souls who like, we have a soul group, like a group of souls that we come into this life with. A lot of times your immediate family is part of your soul group. Um, you know, your children are always usually a part of your soul group, your closest friends, business partners and things are uh, sometimes you're part of your soul group. You know, your own soul, there is no soul mate. Your own soul is your soul mate. You know what I mean? But your soul group are these individuals who have chosen to come into this life with you and you all learn together. You've orchestrated and game planned this entire life and, and different aspects of it, not the entire life, you know what I mean? But the majority and major, major shifts and things and experiences. But there are part of that group who stuck, who sat back and they're like, hey, we're going to sit back at HQ and, and help you out from here, from Central Command. You know what I mean, we're going to help move and guide things, but we're, we're going to learn just from watching you because we got the same lessons we need to learn as you got. So you go in life and make the choices and navigate everything. And I'm going to watch back like a video game and see what, see what we can learn together. So it's not like your guides are like these all knowing beings that are going to be able to like teach you everything, you know? So there's only so much that they are even going to be willing to do because maybe you all enter into a contract so that they don't interfere too much. You know, who knows? But um, but likely a lot of that is for is for you to stimulate you to become more lucid and be, like not just become lucid on accident, but work at gaining uh, the ability to consciously become lucid in order to regularly show up in your dreams consciously to meet with your guides and the and the master teachers regularly. What's a visitation dream? A visitation dream is where you meet another entity, whether they are physical or not. Um, okay, thanks. You're very welcome. 
Oh, you were saying thanks to somebody else. <laughs> um, whether they have come back to vi a visitation dream is when you um, visit and meet up with another entity, whether there's someone who has passed on and is no longer here or is uh, still alive in the physical body. Like all of us, we can meet up in a dream if we want it, if we have the ability, if we collectively have the ability to. What does it mean when you act out your dreams while you're sleeping? Yeah, so sleep paralysis is when a chemical in your brain is released and then you, um, it, it paralyzes your body. And when you're acting out your dreams while you're sleeping, it just means that, that that chemical either isn't releasing or it isn't releasing to its full capacity. So yeah, Jeff Sharon, the uh, Metaphysical Mentorship free month uh, promo code worthy. You can go to the page, become a mentee. It'll get you access into all of the uh, all of the courses, the the Discord chat, and everything, all type of stuff, all type of resources, everything, all the lessons. There's gonna be another lesson uh, dropped this Sunday, I believe. Um, lesson two on the lessons. So got like 75 lessons on the way <laughs> every two weeks. A new lesson. All right. Okay, you know what? It's I've been drinking so much fluid. I've been on this uh, liquid fast all day today. I gotta use the bathroom, y'all. And I can't. I can take you to go make some more tea, but I can't take you there. <laughs> so I appreciate everybody. Like I said, if you are looking to truly accelerate your growth and be serious about your, you know, your spiritual development, um, you know, become a mentee. This ain't not, like nothing else you're gonna find on, on anywhere on social media or anything or even the internet, man. This the stuff that I am offering and producing um, is it are from ancient ancient uh, schools, ancient mystery schools, information, ancient knowledge. You know, a lot of people have to, uh, you know, make oaths and things to get access to this knowledge. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm here to give it to anybody because I freely received it so I can freely give it. You know, I'm not bound to anything uh, in that in that essence and in that regard. So I'm telling you, do yourself a favor. Try it out for a month. See if it, it ha does have any effect. See if you're a good fit. Because if you're somebody who's not very disciplined and you can't cultivate and create that discipline, or you can't at least use the keys to success to strengthen your willpower to then cultivate the discipline needed, then you probably won't get much out of it. But you can at least try it for a month and see. Give yourself a chance. Try to invest in yourself. Thank you so much for giving out this information today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you too. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm excited for y'all. Thank you for everything, Tarak. You are very welcome, brother. I'm telling you, Jeff, man, I'm, I'm coming down there to meet you on the island, man. It's going to happen, man. I've been visualizing it, too. So it's going to happen, man. And hopefully some of the other mentees going to come with me. We're going we're gonna to meet up, do something online. I, I, also, because it's funny, because after, I said, after you sent that picture of where you at, I almost, and I told you I was going to come, I, I, the day after I started visualizing being down there, because I also I already had a desire to to visit uh, that place, and then you sending that was just more confirmation, and so it gave me more reason, right? Well, right after that, one of my other former mentees, very strong mentee, she's a very powerful individual, um, you know, former mentee just because she was a mentee a mentee for you know three four years, and she still comes to me for things, but she's learned how to be be her own mentor, her own guide, her own guru, her own teacher. And so her and a few other people um, who are involved in crypto and things like that real heavy, they are creating a, um, a healing facility uh, down there. So so that's an, uh, like two days later, I, she sent me that message, was asking me about it, asking me if I wanted to be involved with it. And I'm like, yeah, definitely, let's do it. So um, so <laughs> more synchronicity that I'm, I'm coming down there, bro. I'm coming down. <laughs> What state are you in? Anywhere near New York? No, nah, I'm not near New York. I wish I, I wish I uh, had visited New York. I still want to visit New York. I ain't never been there. It's one of the places I've wanted to visit, but I ain't never been. I'm from I'm from Cincinnati. But uh, but all right, y'all. I'm telling you, use the promo code Become a Mentee. Check it out. Join us. And until next time, probably another two weeks or so before I'm live again. But until then, peace.